Welcome to Age Potential TV. I'm Lori Campbell, your host, gerontologist, and advocate of your best life, here to introduce you to an emerging trend called Age Potential. Here's to living out your age potential. Most people are aware that to be healthy, one must maintain a healthy diet. But did you know that a healthy diet may slow down the aging process? Today on Age Potential TV, Carrie Bandelak will share her journey on how she found healing through good nutrition. Welcome, Carrie. It's so nice to have you here today on the show. You know, you suffered from ulcerative colitis for seven years, and it wasn't until you revamped your own diet that you became symptom and medication free. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little short snapshot of what those seven years were like? Yes. You know, it was a really difficult time in my life, and to be honest, I didn't tell very many people because it was so embarrassing. You know, I was dealing with all kinds of issues like constipation and bloating, and it got to a point where I couldn't even sit through a movie without having stomach pains, or even go for a walk for a mile without eat, having to sit down and like on a bench just to, you know, relax. And so I hit a breaking point. And then it was like, I need to try something else. I need to change my diet. And so that's where it all began. And that's where it all began. And then I decided to cut out gluten, I cut out dairy, and I started eating whole, unprocessed foods. And really, within three months, everything changed. My symptoms went away. I felt amazing. And it just took those three short months. So it was really incredible. So in seven years, what were you doing for the seven years prior? What kinds of things before you decided mm -hmm. to revamp your diet? You know, I was eating a lot of sugar without knowing it. Yeah. I was eating a lot of processed foods mm -hmm. without thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And I just had, you know, your typical standard American diet, which what we know isn't so healthy for us. Right. Right. Well, and your own health journey has led you now to be a holistic health coach. So how, Carrie, are you different than other nutritional professionals? Yes, that's a great question. And I love this. And it's the reason why I decided to be a holistic health coach, because we teach two things. First of all, the concept of primary food. So this is everything that we have that, that nourishes us, but we don't eat. So relationships, spirituality, career, and physical activity. And I love, I tell my clients, it doesn't matter how much kale you're eating if something is wrong in one of those, of those areas. So we look at their primary food, and then we look at their secondary food, which is what they physically eat, and we clean up their diets. And so looking at the whole picture of someone's health, we get them to the best health that they can be. Wow, so that's very inclusive. It is. Mind, it body, is. spirit. Mm -hmm, yes. Exactly. Yes. So your expertise is digestive health. Mm -hmm. So gas, bloating, constipation, mm -hmm. things that you have personally experienced prior to this are common complaints. Well, yeah. What are your top tips to actually maintain a healthy digestive system? Overall, I work with my clients to clean up their diets, to eat unprocessed whole foods. Mm -hmm. So I know that's it's huge and every day we're working towards that. But one specific thing that I work with my clients, I tell them to drink a cup of warm lemon water in the morning. So boil some water on the stove, put half of a fresh lemon in it, add a little turmeric, which is a spice, and some ginger, and then drink it. Mm. And even for my clients who don't have digestive disorders, they see amazing results with this simple trick. And it really helps you eliminate, it gets your digestive system going in the morning. It's absolutely wonderful and I recommend it for everyone. Wonderful, I like that, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> and it's important it's to be warm, correct? Yes, Okay. warm but not boiling. But not boiling. And when you said the ginger and turmeric with it? Yes. Okay, so the, is it the ginger from the ginger root? Exactly, and turmeric is from the turmeric, is a root as well. Yes. Wonderful, thank you for that clarification. Yes. Well, 70% of our immune system is located in the gut. Mm -hmm. Wow, so the key is to keep our gut flora in balance. Mm -hmm. So what's flora and how do we keep that in check? We have a ton of bacteria in our bodies. 
And when people hear that, they think, oh, gross bacteria. But we need a balance of good bacteria and bad bacteria. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what happens is that people come to me and they have too much bad bacteria and not enough good bacteria. And so when we work together and we get more good bacteria into their systems, they feel immediately better. I love probiotic supplements. And I also love foods that are probiotic, like kimchi or miso. And these are kind of weird foods, they're a little odd. But once people start using them and eating them, it helps balance the good and the bad bacteria. Right, and where can you get, are those liquids? Or what, it, what are those two things that you? Yeah, miso is liquid, and okay. then kimchi is a cabbage, it's fermented cabbage. Oh. Any kinds of fermented foods are great, sauerkraut, okay pickled anything, but without sugar, added sugar. Yes. Um, so getting those fermented foods into your diet is really, really great. Very good, so that adds the good bacteria. Exactly. Very good, exactly. okay. So there are many fad diets, as you know. So how does a person decide what you know, eating regimen is right for them, or what do you do with your clients? How do you mm -hmm. decipher that? You know, that's, it's really the core of what I do, is helping people listen to their bodies and decide what's right for them. So when I work with people, I always tell them explore and experiment and be open to change. Because sometimes people, what they're eating when they're 18 is not the same thing that they can eat when they're 30 or 40 years old. Mm -hmm. And so you have to really be open and learn how to listen to your body. So I, I love this story. I was working with a woman and she, something was wrong and she didn't know what it was. So we went through her diet, we looked at possible trigger foods and thought maybe it's yogurt. So she took yogurt out of her diet, but then she also tracked it very well. So she took it out and then she tried it again and she tested how she felt 10 minutes later, how she felt an hour later, and we discovered that it was the culprit. And so a lot of her problems went away through this one food. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting in helping people learn how to listen to their bodies and learn what their bodies want or what they want more of. Right, right. So, so when, you, when you're saying listen to your body, mm -hmm. you're saying when you eat certain foods, how you feel, what kind of yes. um, reaction you're getting within your body, is that what you're meaning by exactly. listen to your body? Okay. Exactly, see if there's anything, you know, grumbling around in your stomach, sometimes people get eczema or rosacea flare-ups with certain foods. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people will eat a full meal and then be starving an hour later. So then we think, what do we need to add? Maybe we need some more fat. Maybe we need some more carbs. Maybe we need some more protein. So it's really about exploring that. So there and, really isn't one set rule. I mean, so exactly. much protein, so much good fat. So you're saying that's really individualistic. Exactly. We have guidelines but we really focus on what the person needs based on their age, their gender, their ancestry, even their blood type, and it's very individualized. So when I work with people, I don't prescribe any certain diets. Right, right, it's more learning to listen to your body and mm -hmm. then feed it the food that it, it, it runs well, yeah. best with, okay, yeah. got it. So eating whole foods is key to health, to healing, yes. you, you demonstrated that, and to health. But how does it affect the aging process? Yes. You know, as you know, our bodies are made up of trillions of cells. Mm -hmm. And our cells need to repair and they need to rejuvenate. And they do that through what we eat. So if we're giving ourselves fried, fatty food all the time, that's what our cells have to work with. But if we're giving ourselves really clean food, a lot of veggies, whole foods, unprocessed foods without antibiotics or pesticides, all that good stuff, mm -hmm. then our bodies have more to work with. They have better, they get better nutrients to repair themselves. And so we see that with how we feel, but we also see that in our hair, in our skin, in our nails. I mean, it really shows. And like we talked about earlier, you know, the aging process, it's not just for 
people who are old. Right. We're always aging and it's yes. always important to have make ourselves have the best nutrients possible. Yes, yes, so true. Carrie, thank you for being on the show today. Can you leave us with one tip how to incorporate more whole foods into our diet? Yes, so my absolute favorite is to eat green smoothies every morning. Mm. And they are by far the easiest way that we can get our greens. Because a lot of times when I'm working with clients, they say, I hate salads, or I, you know, I don't eat greens every day. I maybe eat them once a week. So I say green smoothies are perfect. Mm -hmm. So take your average blender, take about two handfuls of greens, start with spinach, it's a little more mild, mm -hmm. and then a handful of frozen fruit, Mm -hmm. And make sure to add some good fats, like flaxseed meal is really great, okay. or coconut oil is cool. really great as well. Blend that up, get, the, get some water in there to get the good texture, yeah. and you're good to go. Take it to work, take it wherever you need to go, and it gives you that energy and just that freshness throughout your day, and it's a great way to get more whole foods. Yes, and is it important in the morning, or is it, is it, is it irrelevant at what time we eat or have our green smoothies? Anytime throughout the day. I personally love it in the morning because it just wakes me up. Sure. Wonderful habit. Juicing yes. is a great habit to cultivate. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. I challenge you, eat more whole foods because it's never too late to start reaping the benefits of making small but significant healthy changes to your diet. And those changes could even reverse cell aging.